What's up, YouTube? What's up, Possible Lover? Handbag Lovers. Sesame Lovers. What's up, Lovers of Union, bro? This is your girl, Anj. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, what's up? What's up? Welcome. But if you've been here before, what's going on? Um, I got new do. I'm trying on this purple lipstick. I am a lover of color on my lips and on my black skin. I will wear, I kid you not, green, I will wear um, blue, purple, orange, burgundy, blah, blah, blah. I've always been that person. But you're not here to talk or hear me talk about lipstick and my stuff. I'll do another video one day on that. Uh, but what I'm here for is a comparison video. One of my friends, my YouTube friends, we were, she was saying that she was looking at my older videos, trying to decide between the Florentine logo lock or the Florentine Kristen Kristen So I said sure you know what since I have both of them I'll do um, I'll do the video for you not a problem and then I was thinking that I will probably throw in a quick conversation about these bags that I have and um hold on hold on she doesn't want to so I do not edit my videos. I'm sorry, y'all. So the bag that um, I'm carrying right now is the black. Um, and it's not the Buckley. I almost said Buckley. But it's the black buckle bag, right? I love this bag. Every time I carry this black one, um, people say, will say, oh, my God, that wow, what a beautiful bag. I love the bag. The only thing is that when it's when it's going to, when the season changes and it's the winter time, when it has to I purchased the red last year when Dooney had his 12 days of Dooney. I purchased the red. It came in and immediately I sent it back. I looked at the bag and I was like, why does the leather feel so light? Not for the money I wanted to spend. So I returned it and um, I know I wanted it. And I was one of those on one of those sites and I found this bag and I got it for a really good price. And when I when i bought the bag was they did not disclose that there was something like a mark i hate when people do that and i was like oh my god i feel like returning it but then the leather the leather was so heavy and i compared to both and then when i found discovered that this is the leather key keeper yay so because of that i kept it and the leather is so 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 amazing so this just wanted to show that um i had conversations with people around the these this bag with the um leather keeper and the ones that's not and yes the fabric the fabric the leather on this bag is sturdier okay let's talk about the bags that i said i was going to do the review on clearly there's a difference i've i've, I've always wanted a chestnut bag and i always wanted a kristen 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 bag so when this became available on the third uh, market on eBay. I jumped on it and it was reasonably priced and it looked amazing. The inside was amazing. The leather was amazing. Amazing. And a matching Florentine um, flap. So I got it. Now, if I, I'm going to compare the both. For this one, you, you see reviews on it, but one of the things that drew me to this bag was this style. I love the fact that it has two snap um, there are no pockets on the outside, as you can see on the back or the front, but they, but there are side pockets. What I love about it, oh, and the other thing about this bag is that the handle stays straight, stay straight, so they don't flap down. I love that because I just want to get into my bag, right? Um, the only thing that discouraged me about this bag is look, right here. You see this? Okay. The way they advertise it, and some people who have this bag might agree to the, to what was said, because I only carry this a couple times on the spring, is that it does eventually smile, I believe, but my bag is, has, the person did not carry this bag, so because of that, it's still stiff. It smells amazing. So, <laughs> so, the bag is stiff, y'all. It's like, what in the world? So when it hits here, it bothers me. Maybe that's why I have to carry it. 
So the bad carries bothers me. So and I already know the strap drop is going. It's, the reason it's not a deal breaker with this bag is because I could just open this bag. I had visions of this bag. I had visions that I was going to carry it in the summertime with some sandals that were chestnut. That didn't happen. But the bag is pretty. Um, it's functional for me because I know I do not like strap. I don't. I don't like zippers and I don't like flap overs. That's what I'm discovering about my style. I like bags that I could just open up. That's why I like that Florentine toggle. Just open it up and I'm out. What what do I need a zip for? I'm good. I don't need zipping. So this is how the bag goes. Let's talk about this bag. Okay. The Florentine logo lock. When I first saw this bag, I was in love with it. I had to have it. It called my name. Something about the style really, really was like, oh my God. Whenever I carry this bag, people will always say, oh my God, what a beautiful bag. Oh my, I get so many compliments with this bag. So let's look at this bag. Obviously, the strap drop is amazing. I carry this in the wintertime. I have no problem. I carry it with my, um, with my heavy winter coat. I just carry it over. There's nothing bothering me up here. I just go and I'm on my way. Um, the only thing is that I do have to go in and out. But then there's times I don't even um, snap this. I put my phone right here. I can open this still. I only have to move this around. And then here's my stuff. Okay. And the inside of these bags are just the same. So let's take a look. Here go the Christian bag. The style is different. You have an outside pocket on this one. There's, there's two side pockets on that one. Both of them, there are no back pockets. This bag is taller than this bag. I think this might be more of an east-west. This has some east-west to it, but it's wider on the top. Strap drop to this is amazing. Strap drop to this is, Lord, you look. I'm 5'3", and I'm getting shorter as I age. Yeah, I am. So, what's a deal breaker for you? Is it the strap drop that's a deal breaker? Is it feeling it's over your arm? Do you have to have your pocket free where you can just put your phone? Do you need to have a zipper? Because if you need to have a zipper, these bags are not for you because there's no zippers on these bags. It opens up. This opens up, but you have to do extra work to get in the people bag. Both handles stay straight up. And both smell yummy. It all depends on your style that you're looking for. This, actually, I carry this a lot. This, this track, I'm attracted to this, but I love that one, too. I think I carry it. And I was like, oh my God, this is the best bag ever. If I had it in red, I would be, my life would be complete. But I know in the wintertime, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to be like, oh my God, this is getting on my nerves. I don't want to carry the crook of my arm. I want to carry it like this. But I think eventually as I saw, as we soft and soft, we get softer, it'll work. So anyway, that's the review that I wanted to do on these two bags. So it all depends, but it boils down to style. I, I just wanted a chestnut bag, and I like the style. So I am going to, um, I was going to carry the black bag over the weekend, but I think I'm going to go out. The weather's crazy. They didn't call for rain. Now it's raining. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Because I want to carry my Florentine bag, then is it going to rain all weekend? But anyway, I think I'm going to carry I don't know if I should carry this one. This one I probably carry. You know why? Because it's just so easy. I open it up and get my stuff. I don't feel like doing this. Take it and go. Okay, this one. All right. Um, anyway, this will be the video. How I did say that I was going to do the comparison early during the week. 
and I was like, oh my God, I have things to do today. Maybe I'll do it next week. But a promise is a promise. And if you give someone your word and you tell them that you're going to do something, follow through, right? Don't, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. If, um, if you say you're going to do something, just do it uh, because tomorrow is never promised. So keep your promise because tomorrow is never really promised. So just go out there, keep your word, be a ray of sunshine to others and continue to do what you're doing. If buying bags make you happy, buy the bags. If taking trips and traveling make you happy, do that. Continue to do what you do and fill this world with just love. Okay, I'm out. Go out there and have a fabulous weekend.